Hey guys, it's Samantha from Samantha Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a Mother's Day card for my pattern paper challenge design team for Crafty Hazel Nuts Pattern Paper Challenge. Ooh, that's a mouthful. I'm using Recollections uh, pattern paper cardstock. Excuse me, it's not pattern paper. It's pattern paper. It's not cardstock. It's paper. Um, it's a Recollections brand. It does not have a name or I'd have to share that with you. And I'm cutting this to four and a quarter by five and a half because I wanted to go uh, over the entire front of my cardstock. I had almost decided to make this into a gatefold, but then I changed my mind. Um, I am using this uh, stamp from Alina Crafts. Um, it has multiple different sentiments on it. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I'm just taking it and putting it on the paper, direct paper, and because all I want out of this is the Happy Mother's Day. I didn't want to have to do the, all of the sentiments at once. This is one of those that you do all the sentiments and then cut them out all at once, and I didn't want to do that, <laughs> so I'm doing the lazy way. So I'm going to trim this out with my guillotine trimmer. The nice thing about the guillotine trimmer is you... Even if you don't stamp it straight, you can eventually get it cut pretty straight. And I did that using that. See, this, yeah, I'm just trying to get it as straight as I can. Um, you know me, I don't like to measure. I didn't feel like getting out my stamping platform and doing all of the things. Um, <clears throat> so, this is what I did. And then I'm going to use a little bit of tape runner, or I think I use a zig pen. Um, because it'll make a temporary adhesive on the end of a piece of cardstock that I had. Because, um, yeah, I use a zig pen. <laughs> um, and the reason I did that is I needed to make a little handle because I could not get this in my trimmer um, straight enough. So, see, there's my little um, piece that's going to be helping make sure I get that nice and straight. And since it's temporary adhesive, I can just pull it right off and continue to cut it. So now that I've got my Happy Mother's Day sentiment all straightened out, we're going to continue on. Now this card is going to make what looks like a woman's cardigan. Um, that's how I would say it. So I'm using the circle die that I have and I'm cutting that piece of um, paper kind of in the middle. Again, I don't measure, so you know I just kind of go with the flow. It, this is fine. Um, and it cuts out the little scoop neck, what will be the neckline. Um, and this is something that I've seen on Pinterest. I've done a men's tuxedo uh, shirt front before, so I wanted to do um, something similar for Mother's Day. So now I'm going to, because my cardstock is not really flesh colored, it's just cream, I'm using one of my Copic markers and I am going to just messily color just enough to be what would be the neckline um, of the person. And you know what? I ended up putting this on the wrong side of the card, but that's okay. I fix it later. I don't show all of you, all of that to you, but I do fix it. And I'm going to use um, some double-sided tape to put this on, basically because I ran out of my tape runner, and um, I didn't feel like refilling it again. Yeah. Guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will stick around. I am a crafter, paper, uh, crafter, card maker. I've been doing this for a long, long time, and I love this. I love teaching people simple things that they can do um, to send cards to their loved ones and friends and family. Um, so think about subscribing, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, you name it. I like all the things. I also have Instagram, I'm on TikTok, um, I have a Discord channel that I don't use very much but I do have it. Um, so anything, I would appreciate it. It really helps my channel. I want it to grow and I really do appreciate it. Now this, of course, I did not line it up perfectly, but there's always ways to fix things, so I'm just taking off little slivers just to make um, this a little bit straighter so there was none of the card picking through. Now, I, for my little cardigan, you have to have the strip down the middle, which, which is where your buttons would go. So I'm using another piece of pattern paper from that same um, pattern paper from Recollections. Uh, and it's kind of, to me, I don't know that you would find this in a store, this kind of thing, but I didn't want to use black, and I didn't want anything solid, and this, I had this little piece, and I was like, I'm going to use that. Um, it has blues and purples in it, and this is a pink cardigan front, let's say, or pretending it is. <laughs> I'm just going to cut off a little excess there, and so this really kind of makes it look like, okay, this, this is starting to look like, you know, a cardigan. 
Oregon for that a woman would wear. Okay, for my pearls, because my mom, not in real life, but my pretend mom that I'm making this card for, she would wear pearls. Um, and nobody, know, nobody does that anymore, but it looks so cool. So I'm using these blue gems from Dollar Tree. These are Jot that come with um, adhesive on them, and they're, they're lined up together, so they're in a line. So um, these are this is pretty easy to do. You just kind of have to get you know get them situated where you want them and then I think I had one extra pearl that I really didn't need so I cut that one off and then that's going to become one of the buttons down the front um, so really simple to do and I was looking at it going okay is this center do I like this yep okay so I was going to use these gems but then I was like no it's not it's not going to look right to use something different so I decided to go with the blue ones and since these come, like I said, they come in a little line, but you can cut them ap apart and use them singularly like I am. So I'm going to put three right down the middle here. It's very simple. I'm telling you guys, this is basic card making. Beginners, you can do this. I know you can. This is easy peasy. Okay, so the Happy Mother's Day, I decided I'm going to put that on the inside. I didn't really want it on the front. I thought it would distract and it just, I didn't yeah, I looked at it and said, eh, I don't really like that. So I had a little bit piece of the same pattern paper left over, and I am going to use that, and that's going to kind of frame it. And it was exactly the right width. So I was like, this is perfect, and this is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put that right there on my paper, make sure it's as straight as I possibly can do, because again, I'm not getting out anything and making sure it's straight. I'm just kind of going with it. I'm going to cut off the end, and I'm going to put that in the middle of the card in the inside. Again, just using some of my double-sided tape to do that. This um, double-sided tape is from Spellbinders. It came with some of their card craft kits. And it's not score tape, but it does a good job. I mean, I'm very impressed that it does as well as it does. So, I'm very happy with it, for sure. Okay, so this is going to go on the inside, and then I added another piece to cover up my, what I messed up on the back of the card. Um, I cut, used that same pattern paper because it came with three sheets, and I covered that right up. See there? Magic editing is all fixed. Thank you, guys. See you next time.